Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. First of all, thanks to these people for supporting me on Patreon. From the next week, I am going to share the templates of my every upcoming project on Patreon, check the link in the description for more info. Anyway, today we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. We will call it Social Media. As always, I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second, you are free to choose your own settings. Now, import your logo, or any social media logo. You can find them on Google. Place it in the timeline. Right click on it, and pre-compose it. Let's call it Twitter logo. Make sure to select move all attributes into the new compositions. And hit OK. Now press S to open scale and adjust the size of your logo. I am using a smaller size so that my text can fit in this frame easily. Now press and hold shift and move your logo to the left by pressing the left arrow key. Go to tool and select the text tool. Start typing your text, I am using a small size font for the top, and bigger size font for my username. You are free to choose any size you want. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. Adjust the size of your text, and place it something like this. Let's make the top text size a little bigger, and adjust its position. Perfect. Now select all your layers, and press P, to open position. Go to around 3 seconds, and add a keyframe on it. Go to the first frame, and change the X position to negative. Make sure your text and logo went to the left. If you press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, you can actually speed up this step. Cool. This is what my animation looks like now. Perfect. Now select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor, and make the curves to something just like this. In case your graph doesn't look like this, right click on it, and select, Edit Speed Graph. Exit the graph editor, and RAM preview this. In my case, the speed is slow, but you can always increase, or decrease the speed by adjusting the distance of these keyframes. Cool, RAM preview this, and see if you are happy with the speed. Now we are going to mask out our text, so that, it won't appear on the logo. Make sure to unselect your layers, and then go to the tools, and select rectangle shape tool. Make sure your fill is set to the solid color, and your stroke is set to none. Now go to after our animation stops, and start dragging your shape on it. Make sure to cover up your entire text, but do not cover the logo. Perfect, let's rename this layer as matte. And then, press F4 to switch between mode and track matte. In the username text, change none to alpha matte. 
Now make a duplicate of this matte layer by pressing Ctrl plus D, and place it above the Follow Me text layer. Change this Follow Me layer track matte to Alpha matte also. And then your text will look like this. Perfect. Let's do the same with this logo also. Make another duplicate of this matte layer, and cover up your logo, because we have used this layer for track matte, so it will hide the visibility of your layer, turn on it by clicking here. And then move this layer to the left, to cover up your logo. You can decrease the transparency of this layer, so that you can see your logo is covered or not. Now place this layer on above the Twitter logo layer, and change the track mat to alpha mat. Ram preview this, and your animation is ready. Now, what if you want to use the same animation for your Facebook username? You can do it easily. Open this Twitter logo comp, and replace this Twitter logo with Facebook logo. Make sure to use the same size logo for all social media lower third, else it won't look that attractive. After placing the Facebook logo, you can see it updates automatically. Cool. Now the final step is to make it reverse. Select all your layers, right click on it, and pre-compose it. Let's call it FB. Now, go to the frame where your animation stops. And then press Ctrl, Shift, D to split your layer. Select the top layer, and delete it. Now select this layer and make a duplicate of it. Right click on it, go to the time, and select time reverse layer. It will make your animation reverse on this layer. Now place this layer after this bottom layer, and see, it is reversing back. Trim out playback timing by pressing N, and see if you are happy with it. In my case, the stopping time is too less, let's increase the length of the bottom layer, and then place the top layer according to it. Perfect. Our animation is ready, Ram preview this, and use it any way you want. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a nice day.